Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning all about exclamatory and optative sentences. In exclamatory or optative sentences, reported speech contains a wish or prayer etc. Verb in the reporting speech is changed into cried out or exclaimed or wished or prayed etc. accordingly. Let us understand it better with the help of the rules below. So, children in the case of exclamatory sentences, please keep in mind that the reporting verb is changed to exclaim with joy, with sorrow, with fear, with anger etc. Applaud, regret, curse, cry out or any other verb that properly conveys the tone of the exclamation. And also note that in the case of optative sentences that is wishes, the reporting verb is changed to wish, prayer, long for, des uh, yearn, etc. And uh, please note that the exclamatory or optative sentence is changed into an assertive one before it is put into indirect speech. And the conjunction that is used to introduce the reported speech. Also make a note that interjections and exclamations such as um, oh, ah, alas, hurrah, etc. they are omitted and their sense is conveyed by means of adverbs or adverb phrases. Let us understand it better with the examples below. See the words like hurrah, ah, ah, they instead of that we write exclaimed with happiness or joy, alas or ah, they are omitted and we write exclaimed with sorrow for what? How? Oh, we write exclaimed with surprise. For sorry, we write exclaimed with regret. For who? Sh, we write exclaimed with content. And for bravo, applauded. Let us understand it better with the help of the sentences uh, below. Like uh, if, it, if the direct sentence is having, uh, if in the direct speech, it is like this the players said, hurrah. We have won the match. Now, here the reporting uh, verb, instead of that, we write ex exclaimed and instead of hurrah, the hurrah is emitted, we write with joy. So, here in indirect speech, we also make a note that the exclamatory sentence is converted to assertive one and we use conjunction so as to uh, introduce the reported speech. Just check it. The players exclaimed with joy that they had won the match. Let us take the next one. The teacher said to him, what a nice fellow you are. The teacher exclaimed. Here the reporting verb is changed to exclaimed. What a nice fellow you are. So here what a nice fellow is again um, uh, we use conjunction that to introduce it in the indirect speech. So, that the teacher exclaimed that he was a very nice fellow. Let us take the next one. The captain said, bravo, you have done well boys. So, the captain applauded the boys saying that they had done well. John said, goodbye friends, I shall take leave of you now. John forbade his friends goodbye and told them that he would take leave of them then. Let us take the next one. She said, Whew, what a clumsy fellow he is. She exclaimed with contempt. Instead of said, we write exclaimed and for Whew, we write with contempt that he was a very clumsy fellow. Let us take the last one. Captain said, alas, my boys have lost the match. The captain exclaimed with uh, regret that they had won the, they had lost the match. So, I hope you have understood. Thank you.